concurrent series, networks and servers. And so far I've shown you how to set up a bunch of different web servers using different techniques. And this week we're looking at using Netcat. Now you've probably seen online posts on how to use Netcat to set up a very, very minimalistic web server. The problem with most of these techniques is they only allow you to serve up one file. So if you have a web page that has images, let's say, in it, uh, it can't serve up those images because Netcat only knows you're piping me this one file and I'm sending that over the web server. So I'm going to take it a step further and show you how to embed images into your HTML file so you could have a full web page with images served up by Netcat. Uh, that is, of course, running locally, local files. Now, this is obviously a very quick and dirty hack to get something done on the spur of the moment just because Netcat is available on a lot of systems uh, already and it's just something you would do, like I said, in the spur of the moment. If you really are setting up a web server, I do not suggest using Netcat as this. I suggest using some other web, actual web server application. But in a pinch, you can use Netcat to serve up HTML files as well as other files uh, and have HTML files with images embedded in them. Of course, you can use this technique of embedding images in any HTML file for any web server. Um, it's not commonly uh, a common practice because it just makes your HTML files large and it's usually good to have your files separated out so they're easily replaced. But again, in a pinch, you can do this. And um, here's an annotation that will link you to that tutorial. So go ahead, check that out. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. If you like these tutorials, be sure to like, subscribe, and share them. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.